Hey everyone, this is Charlotte from AndroidPit.com. Today we bring you the LG V30, which has just been launched at the IFA event in Berlin. The LG V30 is designed beautifully. The front and the back are made of glass and are surrounded by a rounded metal frame. LG has kept the edges above and below the display as thin as possible, like it did with the LG G6. At first glance, this phone looks really nice, and it's really nice to hold too, thanks to the rounded edges. The display measures 6 inches and has QHD plus resolution with 1440 by 2820 pixels. The aspect ratio is 2 to 1, so you'll notice that the display is a bit bigger compared to the classic 16 to 9 ratio. LG has given the V30 an OLED display panel, which is able to produce perfect black colors. Thanks to HDR10, the V30 is able to display content in a large color range, which is a big plus if you like watching movies or photos on your phone. The power behind this device is provided by a Snapdragon 835 processor. The V30 also comes with 4GB of RAM. This has already proven its worth in many other smartphones, and from our first impressions, it does the same with the V30 through fast switching between apps and smooth animations. The internal memory space available for apps, photos and videos is 64 gigabytes. In some markets, LG will also launch the V30 Plus, which will have an internal memory of 128 gigabytes. As usual for LG, the dual camera uses one lens with a normal focal length and a second lens for wide angle images. In the camera app, you can select which lens you want at the simple touch of a button. The normal camera is a 16 megapixel camera and has an aperture of f over 1.6. This means that a lot of light is able to reach the camera sensor, which is particularly advantageous if you're taking a photo in a darker environment. The wide-angle camera is a 13 megapixel camera. LG has tried to reduce the edge distortion that previous phones have experienced by reducing the fisheye effect of the wide-angle lens. LG attaches great value to the V30 and has given it a quad DAC processor which provides high quality sound with little noise. You can also expect sound recordings to be better thanks to this feature. Compared to the LG G6, the LG V30 is bigger, but it feels somewhat lighter. This is partly because of the OLED display and the new camera module. Both are lighter, so they cut off some of the weight. This time, LG will not release multiple versions of its flagship device, and instead, there will be one model for all markets. The LG V30 will go on sale in the third week of September in Korea and gradually reach other regions of the world. We don't yet know how much it will cost. The LG V30 is a real eye-catcher. It feels like really high quality and it has some great equipment on board, which should be appealing to even the most picky of users.